Hey guys, this is Jamie Little Tulula, and I am here with a DT project as a guest for Amy Joy, who's also a happy chick on here. And she has her Etsy shop, and I'll put all the links and stuff down below in the description box. So definitely go over there and check out her stuff, and then tell her that I sent her, sent you. So she asked me to be a guest in her design team for her digital papers. So I chose the kit um gypsy well, it's the gypsy one and gypsy boho and i made a six by nine envelope mini journal so i used my tutorial i have a tutorial that shows you how to make a six by nine envelope in a nine by twelve so i used the six by nine and i used her pages and some papers that i had in my stash as well as some um, papers some jelly print papers and stuff like that so on the outside this piece right here is part of her collection and I did some stamping with Sorrento stamps on top I put this metal piece down it went over with some orange it took a button and did a brad closure um, and then this is some can company paper here I used some velcro as the closure I kind of want to put something there but as the closure so here you can see the full piece of her page and it looks lovely I love that okay so then when you open it I put this page here this is a piece out of her collection and let me see if I can find a little taggy thing or something I'll use this one Okay, so I put this card here and there's actually a space for a tag in the back. And this is a card from <laughs> um, Hobby Lobby. And I glued it down, leaving space for a tag, put the piece of her paper that was cut here on it. Then I folded this down to create a pocket so that there's room for another tag. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And I just made a piece of a tag with some drop papers that was book pages that I had in my stash to go right up in there, which is so fun. And then here's another little piece from her collection. Um, I think there's five pages in it. Okay. Uh, five sheets in it and then in a little extra section. So this is one of the pages and I just put that in there. It's a sewn in binding. And... I had book pages that had been sprayed or marked on with ink, so I thought that would be cool to put in here. This is some of my marker dyed paper that I put in here. And then here's another piece of the collection from the Gypsy Boho. Oh, little piece is stuck in there. Uh, here's a little piece that was a scrap, so I made that into a pocket. And then this was a little scrap, so I put it as a tag. And then this was a piece that's in the same paper. Love that image, and so I put that in there. And then I used um, a Graphic 45 and some Centauro stamps on the back. There's another piece of the paper from her collection. And that's so fun, that's such a fun piece. Here is some um, wipe off paper for in a book page for some painting I did. There's some Can Company paper that I thought went well. Some more book pages. There's some marker dyed paper. Can Company. And then here's some of the tags. They're little pieces of the cutout that she has on her page. Um, if you look down here. So they're on the page. And so I just printed another page and cut that out so that you could use that as a tuck spot that way. Um some more paper and I love this collection because it has multiple colors and you got that steampunk thing going on so here's another page out of her set of pages with the hot air balloons and so forth and then here's some more of the sprayed book pages I had in my stash graphic 45 stamp a, uh, Martha Stewart Halloween piece marker dyed paper and then here's this here's another spread of her paper absolutely love this ok 
have some marker dyed paper with a stamp off, book page, book page that was sprayed. And I used illusions on that. And there's some more book paper. And then she has this page that is part of her collection. And I just thought it was so fun to have these other sprayed pages mixed in here. Okay, this is part of her collection that I cut out from a page. This is actually a piece of authentique tag, but I thought that was lovely. And if you can look at it real carefully, I don't know if it's going to focus, but there's a stamp off of <clears throat> one of the Centauro girls that I put in there. Here's another piece of her paper that I cut and made a tuck spot out of. This is some authentic paper that was scrap can company, marker dyed paper, book page. And there's a stencil and some delusions paint. Delusions paint. I took another one of those pieces and cut it up, made it a little tag, and then I put the stamp on here and used it. And then it's a background. This is the page that's on the front cover. So there's a little tag there. Here's another piece of the paper in her collection in the boho. Tipsy boho. You can see where I was writing down measurements. Marker dyed paper, book page. Here's another little piece that was in the paper. So I cut it out and used it as um, a little tuck spot. This is one of the little pieces. And this is some more authentic paper. And here's that gypsy that I showed you before that I cut for a tag. Here's the full page. And then here's the Ferris wheel thing again. And then in here, I just put a card from Hobby Lobby that you could put in here. And that is, I need to move that section of that. That is my journal for Amy Joy. So this is the Gypsy Boho collection and you'll definitely have to go check it out. Um, I also started uh, Alter Domino. This is one of the part of an image that's in one of her pages. So I glued it down to a domino with some marker 